Hey what's going on guys my name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to review Replug.io and in this review I'm going to show you how you're going to get started with the basic setup. So actually just it's not just a review it's actually a small tutorial. Okay so this is Replug.io I'm actually in the dashboard and the first thing we're going to do is add our own custom domain. So we're not using the, the all already available domain from Replug so we're using our own. So first thing you gotta do is head on over to your name over here, head on over to custom domains and you can see I already added mine which is in.island.digital but you can add your own right here. It's pretty straightforward. You add your own custom domain that you created in your hosting account and all you gotta do is head on over to your DNS in your hosting account and point it to replug. Easy steps. If you, kind of, if you find this hard just head on over to the uh, tutorial on how to add your DNS. Okay so I already got mine. Next step, you gotta head on over to Brands, which is this right here. So in Brands is where you gotta take a little bit of time and create all your brands that you're gonna start using on your campaigns for the link shortening call to actions. So I've created a couple of tests right here and my own. You can check this out and I'm just gonna add a new one just for reference so you guys see what you're gonna expect. So I'm gonna add test three right here. I'm gonna create a bogus link just for the purpose of this video and create save. You can see it's created. So create all the brands. Take some time and create the brands. If you have a company and you got a couple of brands, um, separate them so you don't have more problems later. I'm trying to find out which is which one or what you're gonna use it for. Okay, so I got these created. Next thing you head on over is to campaigns. So this is where we create our own call to actions. Same thing, we can add our own new campaign right here. Also, take some time and create all the call to actions that you wanna use. One of the call to actions I use the most and I love is the subscribe button action. So I send them to my channel so they subscribe. So like I said, we select our brand that we've created from before. And this, I'm gonna create the SAS master because it already has an image. So you can see that right now. Okay, give it a name. So in this case, I'm gonna give it test three. Do I wanna use a pixel to it? You can add your own pixels also. Yes, I wanna use it. And I wanna create a call to action. We got a quick example there. Next thing is you can select your custom domain. So depending on your plan, you can select the domain that you want. You can add as many domains as you want, depending on the plan. So I've selected the one I have added. I go next. And we got three types of call to actions. We got the button, the link, and the form. It's pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like really, really fast. So button is this right here. Here's the option. This is the, the social classic. Social modern, which is my favorite, is this one, more compact. This is not that, that annoying. We got the banner, which is down there, like a type of footer. And you can say, you can see they all have a button. Okay, next thing we got is the exit intent. I'm gonna show you what that is for. And you can see it, it just has a whole page. Pop up, you can add your own image right here. And scroll box, which stays there. You move up and down, it's just gonna stick there. So social modern. Then next thing we have is link. They look exactly the same, except they have a link instead of a button. I like the button, it looks more modern and more like professional. And last last but not least is the form. So this is like an opt-in form so they can subscribe to your social, uh, to your uh, email accounts. So you can also select banner, social modern. Social modern is gonna open and it's gonna have that uh, space to open your email. So you can see the example right here. And next thing we got is the integration for the email service provider. Now Replug has a whole bunch of integrations and you're going to see the, them right here. You got Aweber, GetResponse, Campaign Monitor, MailChimp, Constant Contact, Active, a whole bunch of these. Just check them out, see if it's the company that you use is there. If not, you got a whole bunch of options that have free options or paid options. So I got MailChimp activated and you can select your account, you can select the email list and you can add a checkbox really quick, that easy. So for this example, I'm going to use a call to action with button and I'm going to select modern because that's the one I like. Next thing we're gonna hit is next. What do you want it to say? You can see the, the option right here. It says your message goes here. So I'm gonna say subscribe now, now. Okay, next thing is what do you want the button to say? So I'm gonna hit subscribe, there we go. And where do, where do you wanna send this link to? I recommend you use a link for direct subscribe, but just for this purpose, I'm gonna use a, a bogus link just for you for the example. Hit next and then we can customize the colors that we're using. Why is this important? Let's just say for example, the custom color for the button is blue. And let's just say my site doesn't have blue. I don't use blue and, or my competitors use blue. I don't wanna use blue. So you just change it, really easy. I'm gonna use red 
because I'm, I'm gonna do a intent for subscribe and we can change the background colors just as an example you see that right there yeah I'll switch in really quick and I'm gonna keep it in kind of white just leave it there and we can change the, the position for the custom action we can change left or right I recommend left just exactly this is why there's the example most of the sites have a little chat widget and most of the times are it's in the right so I recommend left do we want a circle border in the image check out the little image I'm gonna remove it and it's a whole image I like that better then we could do pop-up sound yes makes it more interesting hit next now we can select our retargeting pixel now you can add your Facebook pixel Google pixel Amazon pixel and a couple of other ones that I don't remember but you can check out right now and what this does is it's a retargeting it's for retargeting marketing what do I mean by this if you don't know what pixel is it's just put for example you go to Home Depot site and you start watching um, what do you say uh, mirrors okay you start watching mirrors on Home Depot and then you head on over to Instagram Facebook uh, Twitter or whatever you want and you start seeing ads in your social media from Home Depot about mirrors and you say whoa that's incredible that's just pixels that's called remarketing so you can do that with these links so you can you can add a whole bunch of retargeting a bunch of links uh, pixels so you can target your audience and add direct ads directly to them so we got this added go next and next thing we got is how do you want this to appear do you want it from x amount of seconds so for example this is five seconds they open the site and in five seconds that call to action is going to pop up let's just say you know what that's too quick there's no point of it let's just wait for 20 seconds or 30 seconds from people watching the site that's people who are interested then let's give them the pop-up that's an that's an option it just depends on you how many seconds you want next thing we got is that exit intent exit intent is a pretty cool feature so what it does is when you're scrolling inside the site it's not gonna pop up but if you head on over outside of the site if you go to the URL the link or the tabs it's gonna pop up that's what it's for that's the exit intent so I'm gonna hit X amount of seconds five seconds save campaign and we've created our campaign now I recommend that you take some time create all the campaigns that you need so for example campaigns for that this side the other side this promotion um, subscribe to this channel to the other channel just create them all so then when you create links which we're gonna do right here is replug links you connect it to the call to action that you want to use it for so I'm gonna create right here it's a new link create that we select our brand I'm gonna select one that I already have YouTube SaaS master there we go right here which URL do you want it to optimize so let's just say I wanted to head over to uh, what my site oh. HTTPS or is that okay sasm.co which is my site I wanted to head there and I wanted to pop up there the call to action then we can add our own tags why do we want tags because we can look for the site even easier with tags so it's easier to search them so I'm at this the tag and I'm gonna customize a message if you want I got something to say that I want to remember later you can customize that message there so save link it's gonna be created and once it's created it's gonna create a, a weird looking link at the end but we can customize it so you can see this is pretty weird really hard to remember 88 AD 1 F 20 now okay let's edit that and just put a uh, site you know you, you use your own custom name that you want save and it's created so we're gonna copy it and test it right now so we're gonna paste it site it's gonna open the link you see there's the site that I, that I did it and it's gonna pop up there we go in a few seconds it just popped up so here is my call to intent you can see I, I hovered over it and it gave me the subscribe button subscribe to my channel blah 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 so I'm gonna click on it and if I weren't subscribed there would be a pop-up message saying to subscribe because that's how I set up the link so that's why I say you got to take some time and create all your campaigns so later on you just create links and connect them to the call to action that you want to use and if we click on it this is something that not all shirt learners have if I click uh, away from it it stays you got this little button right here anyways it's not annoying it's not spamming it's just there so you can keep scrolling the site check it out and if you remember hey there was a subscribe button I want to subscribe click on it it's gonna open it and you can click on it so that's that's a pretty cool thing that's gonna stay there so like I said it's not annoying but it's there so pretty straightforward stuff from replug.io let me close it and show you a little bit more of what this does before we leave but that's the main part of replug 
create your campaigns, create your brands, and then just short link everything. Next thing we got is the RSS automation. This is a pretty cool tool also. So what this does is automates all the feeds from a specific site that you want, and it's gonna shorten it all the links automatically. So I'm shortening links for this feed right here, and I paused it because I, I don't want to shorten all the links here, and you can see I did 10 short links automatically, but this, uh, this site has hundreds of posts, of blog posts, and it will just shorten all the links automatically so I can use later. So that's a pretty cool feature that we have in Replug. Next thing we got is analytics. Obviously, we know what that is. It's, it's just all the information for the analytics tool that is gonna give you what country they visited, how many times they clicked, are they unique visitors or recurring visitors, and all this information is good for you to use for future reference, to create better links, to remove links that you don't want, or just information that's gonna help you be even better. And last but not least is the reports. So you can add your own reports if you wanna send it to clients or use it just for yourself. So pretty straightforward stuff. This is uh, replug.io. If you guys want to uh, check out the tool, the link is going to be in the description down here or up there. I don't remember where, or it just depends where I'm going to post it. And I just want to show you the little pricing really quick if you guys are interested. It starts from $9 a month, $49 and $79. Pretty cool stuff if you ask me. So you can customize for better marketing and branding. Instead of using other link shorteners that aren't your own domain or domain like subdomain, you're doing marketing for other people instead of doing it for you. So this is Replug.io. My name is George and this is Sassmaster. Thanks for watching guys.